After the massacre in Buffalo, New York, discussion of white replacement theory is front and center. And the question of how many voters in America actually believe that white people are being intentionally replaced by people of color. It's what percentage, how many of them actually believe this? Well, we have a new pretty terrifying YouGov poll that shows that the majority of Republican voters do in fact think this is true. Respondents to the poll were asked, do you agree or disagree with the following? White people in this country are being replaced by non-white people. Among all respondents, a significant 39% either strongly or somewhat agreed, while a slim 41% plurality disagreed. The numbers are even worse when it comes to Republicans. So among Republicans, 58% agreed either strongly or somewhat that whites are being replaced while 61% of Trump voters said the same. Now look, uh, the YouGov poll is terrifying, but I, I do have one note of caution, right? Because for me, the real question is, do they believe that this is a conspiracy? Like something's being intentionally done to make this happen? Or are they just looking at what's happening to demographics in the country and they're noticing that yeah, the white population is getting smaller because there's interracial marriage, there are immigrants, of course. It, it, there's a difference between acknowledging demographic shifts versus thinking there's some crazy manipulated like strategy to replace white people, right? Because white replacement theory is that, that Jewish people are conspiring and like carrying out this strategy to replace white people, which is insane. Obviously. Okay, so uh, previous polls had said something that was still tr very troubling, but a tiny bit more benign. They had said native born Americans, okay? This one actually says white people, okay? White people are going to be replaced. Nonetheless, 58% of Republicans said, oh, yeah, yeah, white people are going to be replaced. So now let's break down how over the top racist this is. And if the word racist offends you, well, the fact that you are racist, offends us way more, okay? So we're even and let's move on. And now I'll prove to you that anyone who answered yes to this is a definitive racist. White people are going to be replaced by who? Non-white people, why is that a problem? Because you're a racist. No, no, but it's literal. Like, so if you told me, hey, you're going to be replaced. First, we'll get back to in a second, replace for what? Where am I going, right? But if you told me you're gonna be replaced, let's say that the next host here is going to be a Latino or someone black, why would I care? Why is that a bad thing? Because they think white people should be in charge. And the idea of having white people replaced, they find to be abhorrent. Other blacks, Latinos, Asians, non-white people in charge, they find that idea disgusting, that's because they're Overtly racist. Okay, okay, but do you get the point that I'm trying to make? Like, look, I remember doing a show for Fusion back in 2016, where we were specifically talking about how the demographic, and we were celebrating it. We didn't think it was a bad thing, obviously. That, you know, uh, the Trump support was like the last gasp of like white America, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember talking about that. So That's like, right, yeah. so like if we were to answer the, this poll, the way that it's being phrased, Right, like it's demonstrably true, but it's not asking you if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Do you get what I'm saying? No, no, no. White people are not being replaced. That is not true. That's mm -hmm. not even close to true. Are demographics shifting? Yes. Why it's not true when you say replace and white people is the key part. Okay. okay? Fair. So replaced how? Like, are they forcing you to move to Guadalajara? <laughs> like, are you? Do you have to go to some other country? You're not being replaced at all. More people are coming in. Some of them, by the way, are white, <laughs> like Ukrainians and other immigrants that are coming from all different parts of the world. And some people are Latino, some people are Asian, they're all different races. But if we're adding other races, how are we replacing you? No, you're just saying, I don't like the other races. I don't want them to come in addition to the people that are already here because they're not white. If they were white, that's totally fine, because it says white people, right? There's no subtlety at all in this, okay? So what do they mean by replace? What they mean is replace our power, 
They don't mean replace us physically, nobody's going to a different country. And the idea that white people wouldn't be in charge in a country that they view to be like, they view to be racist, like they think that's great that we're racist. We white people should never be replaced in power by black people or Latinos. So they're just literally telling you, I don't want this to be a democracy. I don't want everybody to be equal. I don't want white people to ever lose power and be replaced in the power dynamic. God, we're so doomed. Like there, the, I mean, every year this country gets significantly worse with extremists and racists, like having more and more extremists and racist thoughts that are being fueled also by the right wing. Uh, media ecosystem that honestly, what, what do we have on the left, right? We have some independent media, sure, uh, but can it really compete with corporate media and right wing media at this point? I mean, the most watched uh, cable news network is Fox News, with Tucker Carlson being the most watched host on that platform. And uh, to your point, Jenk, yes, I mean, I'm not trying to erase the racist component here, right? I'm just talking about the methodology here and the way that they're phrasing the question. But to buttress your point, because you are right, uh, if you take a look at other questions in this very poll, it's just demonstrably true that there's racism at the front and center. So the poll also asked, According to the US Census Bureau, more people of different races are marrying each other these days than in the past. In terms of its impact on the country, do you think this is a, a, a very good thing, a somewhat good thing, neither a good or bad thing, nor bad thing, a somewhat bad thing, a very bad thing, or not sure? Now, among Republicans, the split was even at 24% good thing to 23% bad thing. So. 23% uh, of Republicans think interracial marriage is a bad thing. Like they're comfortable enough to say that. To a pollster. To a pollster, yeah. Someone on the telephone or whatever, and they say, oh, yeah, yeah, white people and black people getting married. Ooh, that's terrible. That's a bad thing. I mean, I can understand saying neutral. I don't give a care if they marry a white person or a black person. I don't care, right? That's totally fine. Saying, no, 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 two different races marrying, bad thing. You just said you're racist. There's no subtlety. At all. So, look, guys, changing demographics are real. If the demographics were naturally shifting towards the country being more white, would I be upset? Of course not. Why the hell would I be upset? Who cares if it's white people or black people or Latino people? And if Democrats are upset and they're like, oh, the changing demographics are bad for us, I would tell them, hey, schmucks, why don't you go get the votes of white people? What's wrong with you? Right. Right. Oh well, white people will never vote for us. Why? Then why don't you help them? Why and not white people specifically? Why don't you help all Americans so they all vote for you? But Republicans, by the way, have never even considered that. Why don't we go get the votes of Latinos and Black people? Oh no, we don't. Nah. <laughs> They're so racist they you don't even why? want your vote. But you know why? Because <laughs> look, think about everything that Republicans have campaigned on for decades. Since the 1970s, it's all been culture war stuff. So they're not gonna campaign on economic populism. Their corporate donors won't let them do that. A lot of them are millionaires themselves. They don't wanna do that. They don't wanna pay higher taxes. They wanna raise their own taxes. So hating on people and being, you know, peddling racist politics is their bread and butter. That is what they rely on for their campaigning. That's it. They're gonna keep doing it. This is all they've got. And on the other side, what do you get from Democrats who have now been captured by the same corporate interests? Finger wagging, language policing, today AOC talking about, oh, my colleagues won't use Latinx, even though Latinos don't want to be called Latinx. Yeah. What are you doing, AOC? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.